Mandatory evacuation still underway in Old Bisbee tonight. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Amanda Gomez. And I'm John Overall. The so-called Zach attack fire has scorched just about 20 acres. And you can see the flames along the mountain here. This video courtesy of Cool FM Online. They hiked this mountain to capture the scene. And let's take a closer look now at exactly where this fire is burning. It sparked in the Zacatecas Canyon. The road to that canyon has been closed. The area of evacuation notices the sheriff's office says include 300 Brewery Avenue north of Mimosa Market and up into the canyon. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has been there all night long and he joins us now live from Old Bisbee. Hi Eric, what can you tell us? Hey there, Amanda. John, I just spoke with Bisbee Fire Chief George Castillo just a few minutes ago. He says approximately right now at this 10 o'clock hour, 10 homes have been evacuated here in Old Bisbee. He says that's the good news. The danger is that about 100 other homes are in danger tonight. That is if the Zach attack fire crests a hill in the mountain and uh, then comes down. But right now, according to Chief Castillo, that fire uh, crews rather have have stopped that fire from making progress towards coming down that hill. So that is some good news at this 10 o'clock hour. Let's go to some video that was shot earlier. Now, crews working this fire from the ground and the air, firefighters dropping water and retardant earlier this evening. The fire chief telling me the fire is still at about 20 to 30 acres right now. Now, there is an evacuation center open right now at the Bisbee High School. We're told no one has been there this evening, but it is open. If you or anyone else you know needs a place to go. This historic town now is no stranger to fire, and I asked the fire chief what his greatest worry is as we get deeper into the night and into the early morning hours. Our uh, biggest concern is if the winds pick up. Uh, hopefully the uh, crews can get a handle on it tonight before uh, the tomorrow morning when the sun comes up and it starts getting in the burn periods. Because uh, if that's the case, um, it could get worse. You know, we have a lot of history here in this town I and mean, that's always our uh, main concern here in Old Bisbee is fire. Chief Castillo saying that hotshot crews will be on this fire throughout the night, hoping to stop forward progress, hoping these winds do not pick up. Now, again, about 10 homes or so, we're told, have been evacuated. We're also told that the Cochise County Sheriff's Office questioned a person of interest who was in the area at the time the fire started, because we are, we are all trying to find out how this fire started, what caused this fire, we're told, that the Cochise County, uh, Cochise County Sheriff's Office questioned that person, but has since uh, cleared and released that individual. We will continue to stay on this story for you, bring you the very latest developments as they come into our newsroom on air, online, and on your mobile device. We've got you covered live for now from Bisbee tonight. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Let's go back to you guys.